So, hi friends. In my previous session, I have showed how to create Eureka server and how to create the Eureka client. So, in this uh, session, I am going to show how to re register the applic uh, client application in another application. So, I have two applications, student service and student result service. In my student's rest controller, I want the student's uh, details with marks. So that time I need to call the student's result service. So if I go inside the service, I am using rest connector to get the marks. Inside rest connector, I will be giving the application details where the result service is running and the URL and the query parameters, everything I am passing. So here the inside code where we are hard coded the location of where the result service is running. If the port is not available, we may start the application in some other port. That time we have to change the code, so student service code and we have to redeploy. Instead of that, we can use Eureka client registry so that, that Eureka will be able to retrieve the result service where it is running for us. So now I am going to show how to discover the client inside other client. So first I have to go to the result service. And I have to create it as a Eureka instance. So to create a Eureka client, I have to enable Eureka, enable Eureka client. So when we add at the rate right, enable Eureka client, this application will be registered with Eureka server. So Eureka server will be having these details. So all the application which are registered with Eureka can able to uh, retrieve that these servers. So I am going to start the Eureka server. to start the result service. So now result service is registered with Eureka. If we go to Eureka UI, We have to add the uh, Eureka instance where it is running. Eureka dot client dot service URL dot default zone. Default zone is the fallback URL where the uh, Eureka is instance is running. Slash. So application is started in port 8085. It is registered with Eureka server. If I go to Eureka URI, see the result service is discovered by Eureka. Similarly, we have to make the student service also to be Eureka client. So it's already added. Enable Eureka client. In the application, we have given the default zone URL. So if I run this. So application is started with this disk So 
now both the applications are discovered by Eureka. So using student service, I can able to re, uh, discover result service. So I'm going to discover my result service in uh, REST connector code. I'm going to use discovery client. This auto white so spring container provides uh, this for us. Instead of hard coding, I'm going to get using this discovery client. So here service side is the spring application name. using the, the application name here is result service the service id will be the so it gives the list of service instances base your So instead of hard coding the base URL, I am uh, retrieving using discovery client. Now I am going to restart the application. So application is started. The J meter to hit the so the URL is running in student results plan. Listener of uh, summary report. So that I now if I run, I can see the response data. So we are able to retrieve data from the prison service. So instead of hard coding the content on the base URL, we are using discovery client to resist, uh, get the instance where the uh, application is run. So now I'm going to stop. So Eureka server by default gives uh, load balancing. To use that, I have to use load balancer, uh, load balance client. So now I'm going to show how to use that load balance client. It internally uses ribbon uh, client. 
to do the load balancing. So instead of discovery client, now I am going to use load balance balancer client. So that load balancer client dot choose with service ID gives the service instance. So in instead of giving the list of uh, services instances, it will give the one instance based on the load available load. To see which endpoints are pink, I'm going to print the content, the base URL. The student trigger service. Service endpoint. So first I want three instances of original service to be running. So first I'm going to start application in 8085 port. And I want to run in one in eight four port. My Eureka UI, I can see result service is running in three ports, port 8085, 83 and 84. So now I am going to start my student service. Now student service is started. So using JMeter, I am going to start 10 threads with 10 loop counts. So total 100 uh, hits I am going to do. I am going to preview, clear out and I am going to hit. You can see we are getting the response. See, it was speaking sometimes 84, port 84, sometimes 83 and 85, 83. So based on the load, uh, it was balancing the application. So thank you friends.